How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over 10 tips on how to make it into the World Series division in MLB The Show 19. The very first thing I need to talk about or the very first point I need to bring up is have you been able to make it to 700 rating uh, the division series? Once you're able to do this or you have made it a few times consistently then you're pretty much ready to make the next step in moving uh, towards championship series and world series. All of the games up until that point, up until world series, will be on Hall of Fame difficulty depending on your opponent's rating. Now, I wanted to talk about a few things uh, to start this video off. Some things will be uh, tips and tricks on how to make it. Other things will be uh, just ideas that I've kind of implemented into preparing in order to play online games at a consistent level because basically uh, from 700 to 900 the players get more consistent as you move up in rating as well as past 900 the most consistent players the top 1% of the community in this game play at a very consistent level uh, the thousand rated guys the 1100 rated guys and then of course the best of the best so in order to get to um, I mean 700 or even 800 you need to win about two to three games for every loss that you take. As you can see here, I haven't really played nearly as many games as all the other people on the leaderboards at this situation. I've only played eight games, I've won seven of them, and I've put myself in a pretty good situation to try and make a push towards World Series. Now, I am about four to five games away still from making it, uh, depending on how many points I get. I need to go on a win streak in order to do so, but if I lose a game, it's not the end of the world because I still will be able to uh, try and get a win streak going, get a couple wins back, and get those points right back. One thing to keep in mind is you want to go into ranked seasons with your best team, the players that you perform the best with. You're not going to want to uh, you know, go with a different team build if you're trying to make World Series. You're going to want to go with your best players, the highest overall players possible. Or if you like using a player that's slightly lower in overall, but you perform better with that card, absolutely use that player. I'm going to talk a little bit about the bullpen a little bit later on in the video, but I think that one of the most important, one of the most underrated tips on how to make World Series is uh, developing your team. Using the rating mod and the search bar when you're going up uh, against a, an opponent or searching for a game. Uh, right now, I'm at 819 rating, as you saw before. If you add... 236 rating to that I will be at about 1055 so that right there will allow me to search at 1055 obviously my actual rating is not 1055 but it is 819 and then you add in the rating mod and that's what you're actually searching at when you're trying to find a game so the most important thing is to keep your rating uh, meter when you're searching as far left as possible, you can uh, ex extend it a little bit, but you run the risk of playing a person below your division. Also have a chance of playing a person that's a division higher than you. I wanted to go through some game history. As you guys can see here, I did take a few days off from playing the game. I mean, I played a few days and then took a few days off for a break, played a few games of ranked seasons. I actually ended up winning the last five five games of ranked seasons that I played, maybe six. Uh, some of those games were also friendlies as well. So I think that that's something to keep in mind. As you uh, play this game, you're trying to uh, manage your bullpen. As you can see here, a lot of these games are really close games towards the end. You want to have some extra relievers on your bench that you can go ahead and use. Players that you've maybe never used before that uh, you want to go ahead and use because of the stamina. But before I get into a little bit about the bullpen, I want to talk about uh, the matchups that you can go up against. Obviously, in this one, both players are in the 700 rating. That means the game will be on Hall of Fame, as well as uh, you can get about 20 to 30-something points for the win. In that situation, I ended up getting 30 exactly. One of us was going to drop down into the previous division, and that's what's going to happen sometimes. Uh, you're going to match up against somebody who is right around the same rating as you, or you could match up against someone who's lower or higher. I think it's important to search uh, search their you know their username on the show nation. I will include an example of that. But uh, as you guys can see here, it's important to uh, get a couple quits. I got a couple quits, a couple shortened games. Uh, here I played full nine inning game and uh, I was actually a higher rating than the opponent. He lost the same amount of points as I did. Sometimes you are at an advantage if you have the lower rating simply because you can earn more points 
but uh, based on your opponent's rating, of course. But this is a great way to go ahead and determine what your opponent's rating is in the middle of a game. Once you match up with someone at the pregame loading screen, it reveals their uh, PSN gamer tag. You go ahead and go to MLB The Show Nation on any device. You type in their uh, PlayStation gamer name, and here it is. I typed in my own. It shows my rating at 819 uh, directly under the info on the online tab in that screenshot. So wanted to provide you guys a nice example of this. This will help you determine if the game is on Hall of Fame, if the game is on All-Star, if you're in the 700s or in that range where you could potentially play someone in the wild card division, stuff like that. There are a lot of things that go into the approach of, of setting up a run for World Series, I would say. Honestly, there is not that much of a difference between a player who consistently can make, you know, DS or CS division between a player that can consistently make World Series. The main difference is consistency in the actual gameplay. I mean, if you're able to track pitches, if you're able to uh, hit the ball consistently, square it up, consistently swing at good pitches, have good at bats, swing at quality strikes that you can hit in and do damage with and put it in put it into play but uh, basically another way to practice is to actually go into custom practice i would recommend playing games against a friendly opponent uh, against another person who's also trying to make worlds world series but if you're unable to uh, match up with someone or you know get a friendly game in you can always go into this custom practice i recommend using these legend teams as they have a lot of the signature series players on them or v v variations of those players with different stats, obviously, but definitely similar play styles, uh, s the same pitching motions, the same uh, swings. You can really test out some players. If you have not had a chance to use some of these guys, you can test that, test them out and see if they'd be worth it to add to your team before making a World Series run. But pretty much, uh, it doesn't matter if you start as the home team or the away team, you can choose to bat or pitch i will also have a couple videos linked in the comment section down below games where i have made it to world series uh videos where i talk about tips and tricks on how to hit and and pitch as well but i think it's most important to just go into this mode don't even swing the bat just use the pci and track pitches i think it's important to uh, have this zone hitting on as well as analog pitching there are variations to settings that you can use but I think the general consensus is to have as much control over the outcome of the pitch and the uh, and where your batter is swinging the bat. So that's kind of the settings that I'm using. It doesn't really matter as much this year as it did in years past. But basically, I'm just trying to take pitches. I'm just trying to track the ball with the PCI. I'm not even. I haven't even swung the bat yet. I drew a walk. It's going to help you with plate discipline. It's going to help you time up the ball without even swinging. It's also going to help you take strikes in an actual game. In a game of ranked seasons, you don't necessarily want to swing at every single strike thrown uh, throughout the game. Here I took my first swing, the first attempt, and this is on Legend difficulty. I recommend warming up on Legend, even though the swing timing is a little bit different than it is in an online game on Hall of Fame. I definitely recommend uh, practicing on Legend. Tracking pitches, trying to get the timing down at least a little bit, uh, just so that way you're kind of ready. You might be a little bit early when you go into a game of ranked seasons. You will have to make adjustments here and there, but you are always going to have to make in adjustments in this game. It, playing for World Series, you're going to go up against a variety of opponents, people that do different things. That's another tip that I wanted to talk about. I kind of got off track on where I'm at in tips. I'm going to try and give you guys as many as possible, at least 10. Uh, some of them might be ideas, some of them might be strategies, some of them might be actual in-game tips. So basically where I was going with that is uh, people are going to do different things. People are going to have different team setups. They're going to have more power. They're going to have more speed. Certain players are going to try and steal bases on you. Certain players are going to try and use hit and runs. Different strategies like that. You also have to play the way that you play, if that makes sense. If you're not a uh, base stealer, then don't try and steal bases once you get to championship series. Don't try and do something different that hasn't necessarily worked for you to get to the position that you're in. I think that that's one of the biggest things when I, before I made World Series in MLB The Show 17, uh, before I was a World Series player, before I really put the effort, the time and effort into trying to make it and trying to unlock those amazing rewards, is I would try and uh, I would get to a certain point, I'd get to about championship series or so, 850, and I would start to, you know, press a little bit. I would start to do stuff that I wouldn't necessarily 
normally do or I wouldn't do things that got me to where I'm at necessarily uh, swinging at you know every strike or uh, just getting out of my comfort zone taking pitches that I would try and uh, swing at first pitch or uh, you know trying to steal second base with a guy that has questionable speed or you know trying to trying to do something trying to do too much in that situation that's something that's going to hurt you more than help you make world series in my opinion now in these in these practice modes you can try to do different things you can try and set up you know a situation where you have a guy in scoring position you're trying to score him uh, you have one out you're trying to hit a sack fly stuff like that you can set up a nice situation you can also uh, practice pitching I think it's important in this year's game to practice pitching to at least throw a few pitches in warm-ups before hopping into rank seasons I know personally if I just hop into a game of rank seasons and throw some pitches then it, it's a pretty good chance I'm gonna give up a leadoff home run but also you can kind of face knuckleball pitchers if you want to try and practice using a knuckleball pitcher you can the only reason I uh, I'm using one instead of facing one in this situation is because I chose the team that has Phil Necro uh, this is a good chance to you know face Phil Necro because there are a few knuckleball pitchers in the game that some people will go ahead and use they are commons that Phil Necro is a little bit better obviously and that might be some good practice you can also uh, try out some different motions with some relievers uh, the, the CPU can really hit on legend so you can practice your defense as well uh, Let me go ahead and take you guys into another situation where I think bullpen is one of the most important things And let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what you can do in order to prepare yourself So as you can see here, I have a situation where most of my guys have been used I probably used them for you know one one batter or a couple batters or an inning or so in the last game I think the previous game I played almost went or it might have went into extras and uh, I had to use pretty much everyone after taking my pitcher out so in this next game this is a few games later after I threw a complete game you know I might have gotten a quit in between but as you can see my relievers have more stamina now in this specific game I threw um, I th only threw a couple of these relievers so for the most part everyone's going to be rested that's one of the most important things when you're trying to make a push and when you're trying to play those last few games and get to 900 rating you want to have a completely rested bullpen in order to uh, get the most out of them as well as uh, try and manage it you might get into a situation where you take your pitcher out in the third inning because it's a must win game and you need to get over that hump for World Series but one thing that you don't want to do is play any games against the computer any moments on anything below all-star or even Hall of Fame anything on Hall of Fame against the computer is not going to help you it is going to uh, mess you up it's gonna develop bad habits for you at the plate I would say but basically once you are able to consistently win a few games even if you win two two games for every loss you have a good chance to make World Series you can unlock the this Chipper Jones you can unlock this Babe Ruth and that's another thing the most important tip is to be confident you have to believe in yourself that you can be able to compete with some of the best of the best players in this game and even if you're not able to right now practicing uh, playing friendlies against them playing friendlies against people that you know that also play this game will certainly help you unlock some of these best cards so hopefully in this video I helped you in some way if you think I left something out that has helped you out feel free to comment it in the comment section down below that way someone else um, may be able to use that tip or trick as well so uh, we're just trying to help everybody out as much as we can in this community some people have asked me to go ahead and make this video I have really tried to think about uh, as many tips and tricks as possible in order to give you guys to try and make this push towards World Series. I think it's one of the hardest things to do in the game. I definitely think uh, going 12-0 in Battle Royale is much more difficult simply because you can't lose. In ranked seasons, you can easily lose a game and still make it. You can lose multiple games and still make it. You also have nine innings to play, which allows you a, a little bit more of an opportunity to, you know, come back in a game or or uh, get play consistently and get those wins but hopefully I helped you guys out that's all I'm trying to do and uh, let me know what you guys think down below once again I'm college lefty and have a great day hopefully this World Series game 7 is amazing I can't wait I'm looking forward to it uh, once again peace out